This tutorial video is designed to help you understand how to create a flattened version of a fillable PDF form. The forms which are downloaded from the Permanent Residence Portal or the IRCC website are in a file format called fillable PDF forms. It's easy to see if a PDF file is a fillable form if you are able to type information into the PDF form. If you cannot type anywhere in the PDF form pages, then this file format is called a flattened version. Creating a flattened PDF is important if you want to merge multiple files into one PDF document, or if you want to be able to insert an image of your handwritten signature or a hand-drawn signature using a mouse. For performing any of these tasks, you will first need to create a flattened version of the fillable PDF form. Let's take a look at which PDF forms you may wish to make a flattened version for. When considering the downloaded sponsors forms, you may want to flatten the sponsorship undertaking and settlement plan, the sponsor assessment form, the financial profile form, or appointing a representative in the community of settlement form. When it comes to the refugees forms, you may want to consider flattening the schedule two form or the use of representative form. Now let's see what you'll need for creating a flattened version of the fillable form. It is important to point out that this demonstration is for those who are using Windows operating systems. People who use Mac computers are not currently able to flatten a fillable form in the same way that I'm about to show you. Mac users can, however, print to a physical printer and then scan the printed page back to a PDF. This will create a flattened version of the PDF form. Now let's take a look at how a fillable form can be flattened using a PC computer. To begin, open the fillable form in Adobe Acrobat or the program which you typically use to fill in the forms. For this example, we've opened the Schedule 2 form in Adobe Acrobat. As was mentioned previously, you will know that this is a fillable form if you can click on the form functions like this check mark, or if you can type into the form fields. Let's assume that all of the required information for Schedule 2 has been entered, and we now want to create a flattened version of this form. Click on the File menu and then select Print. When this dialog box opens, you want to see that the Printer option is selected to Microsoft Print to PDF, and then select Print. When saving the file name, you may want to add the word flattened to the file name for referencing later on. Click on the Save button and close this fillable version of the form. Now open the flattened version of the PDF file. Try to click on the form fields. You should not be able to type anything. You could also try to click on the checkboxes, but you will see they cannot be changed. Now that you have a flattened version of the fillable form, you will be able to merge it with other flattened PDF forms, or to insert hand-drawn signatures using a mouse, or insert images of your signature.